I just got a counterfeit claim on my Amazon account, and I'm going to show you my thought process for what's going on with this, what the type of item that it was on, and I'm going to show you what I'm basically going to do about this. So without further ado, let's get started. So I had just hiked Grays and Tories in Colorado. It was around an eight mile hike. I'm exhausted and I get back home and I see that I got a counterfeit claim and I haven't clicked into it yet. Uh, we're gonna see together what this is about. Let's see what this is. I haven't clicked into it yet. So to see that you go to performance and account health. So first of all, you can see that uh, my account health rating uh, stayed pretty high. It was at 260 before. This only docked me four points, which is, I'm really thankful about that. I've had them knock me down upwards of 60 points before. I'm really thankful about that. We're clicking into this and we're seeing, first of all, that this is a product authenticity customer complaint. What this means is basically a customer is complaining that the item is not authentic. In my experience, customers have done this when they're the one out of a thousand who got a product that they really didn't like. They're extremely mad for some reason. And they either type something about counterfeit or they report it as counterfeit. Uh, so let's click in and see what the problem is. All right, so we're on this page. We're seeing reason, product authenticity complaints, uh, date, uh, today's date, this is coming out in the future, probably in August, July 19th. What was impacted? So this was basically a high-end ceiling fan remote. This is an item that's extremely discontinued. There was a lot of circulation of it. The price has gone up a lot because there's just not a lot of supply of this and there's still a few people who want this product. So the action taken is listing removed and account health rating is high. So that does kind of concern me a little bit because they only took four points away. And so if it's a high account health rating, um, I would expect them to dock more like 60 points or 30 points or something like that in that ballpark. So what I'm concerned about is potentially they might come back and lower the points even more in the future. Probably not, but that is on my mind. So now at this point, what we'll do is we see this submit appeal button here. What's probably gonna happen with this is we'll click it. It'll either ask for our invoice slash receipt or whatever they want, or they might just have a situation where I can acknowledge the violation basically and if there's an acknowledge the violation, there's a good chance that this might get removed. If I have to submit an invoice for this, most likely I will not get this removed because this was an eBay to Amazon item. And so this wasn't from a regular retailer. This is an extremely discontinued item. I don't think anybody has this in stock and hasn't for years, unless I someone had an invoice from like 2017. Like nobody probably has an invoice for this. And as far as the item itself, I'm going to see real quick how much I paid for this and how many I had in stock to kind of get a gauge for like how much money I'm going to lose if I am not able to get this appealed. So right now what I'm doing is looking at the buy costs for how much I paid for all these. So this is an interesting one because some of these I sent in, I had gotten returns on some of these items and so I resent them in and I resent them in with a zero buy cost because the return had happened in the bookkeeping and so I was sending it in with a zero buy cost but I, I'm generally paying around $50 for these. So 60 plus 60 plus 41, we'll call it 50. We'll call it 50 for this one. We'll call it 55 times five for that one. So this is gonna be a pretty big one actually.
Okay, so here we're at 536 and 586. So this is going to be a bit more expensive of a counterfeit claim if this happens. Again, I mean, I, I could have had thousands of dollars invested in this, and it has happened before. And there also is a chance that, like, even if it is the submit an invoice to get this removed type of claim, that they sometimes do reverse the decision and let you remove or order your item after several months. But we're, we're hoping that we can acknowledge and move on. With Amazon, you don't want to, like, try and appeal and say, like, I wasn't at fault here try and like say that they did something wrong with their decision that almost never works. So we're just gonna click this and see what happens. So submit appeal, cool. So we see here, address the listing violation. We have removed your listing because one or more buyers have complained about the authenticity of your product. How do I address this violation? Please choose an option for how you want to proceed. I understand the policy and acknowledge the violation. Select this option to review how this violation affects your listing, remaining inventory, or account. Or, I understand the policy and have evidence or documentation to submit for review to confirm my compliance with the policy. So, like I was saying before, this is the option where you would select this and you're basically saying, no, Amazon, you're wrong, but then you have to like prove it. And then this is the option where it's possible it'll get removed it's possible I'll get my inventory back. It's possible I select that and uh, it still like stays on my account, but at least that way it has a chance of getting removed and isn't gonna hurt my account health as much. So we're gonna do this. Like I said, this is E to A, so this makes the most sense here and we'll see what happens here. So you have to acknowledge that so on this page, uh, it brings up address your listing violation. Please indicate on behalf of yourself and the business you represent, understand and agree with the statements below. I acknowledge that my listing violated the Amazon anti-counterfeiting policy and do not wish to reactivate my listing. On one hand, I've seen these before and it doesn't feel great to like click that because like we weren't purposely counterfeiting anything and just because a customer complains that it's counterfeit doesn't mean it's like counterfeit but like this is the way that you go to like cause the least damage to your account in this situation anyways so we're gonna do it so this is a new one please review the statements below and indicate that you on behalf of yourself and the business understand and agree with the statements below we will review the submission to determine whether the associated policy violation from your account health page can be closed. I reviewed the original notification, understand my listing violated the anti-counterfeiting policy. I do not have the documentation required to reactivate my listing at this time. I deleted my offer and will not relist on this ASIN or try to sell it again without submitting the required document. Okay, so we'll have to liquidate on eBay if we get our inventory back. I acknowledge that I have read and understood and agree to comply with the following policies. I commit to taking steps preventing violations of this policy from reoccurring in the future. Acknowledge any further violations may result in account activation. I understand that by submitting these actions, the violation record may or may not be removed from the account health page, but impacted listing will remain deactivated. So submit and they will review my submission and should expect a reply within the next two to three days. So it's good to like go in when you get these. You don't want to just ignore these. Even if you don't have all of the correct documentation, you don't want to just ignore these. That's kind of the worst thing you can do. Amazon wants you to take some kind of action on these. Uh, so we took some kind of action on these. The best action would be to have an invoice and uh, submit the perfect documentation. But in this situation, we want to just make sure that we did something. I'll see you back in two to three days and see what they say. One day later. All right, it's the next morning and we have some really good news. So let's check again what's going on here. So we did what we did yesterday and it looks like that product authenticity customer complaint has been dropped off of our account. 
And so I remember yesterday we did agree to delete the listing. This is really good news, like big picture. Unfortunately, I am going to be writing off around $580. It's still a huge bummer, but big picture, this is really, really good news. We did say we have to delete the listing. And so with that, we're going to end up losing the inventory for sure. So all in all, really happy with this result. Glad to share the journey with you guys. Big picture, really try to avoid as many of these claims as possible. Do anything that you can to avoid getting counterfeit claims, avoid getting IP complaints. Do everything you can to make it a good customer experience. Do everything you can to stay away from brands that are going to give you IP complaints. Because it's less about like losing $580, it's more about your Amazon seller account because that's the money making machine that you want to keep healthy. So with that being said, thanks for watching the video. We do have a free discord down in the description below. We would love to have you learn from you. And also we have some really solid sellers in there as well who are doing similar business models. Do join that as well. With that, I hope you have a great rest of the day and take care.